Hi boys and girls, welcome to Health and Life Skills. This week's theme is weather. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a garden indoors with items that you most likely have laying around your house or in your yard. And then at the end, I'm going to do a little show and tell with you guys and I'm going to show you my indoor garden. Okay, so first you need something to plant. Um, I have lots of seeds here. Um, if you do not have those, you can go outside and look around or watch the, um, the video I posted along with this. There's one that teaches you what um, seeds are. Some things that you might not think are seeds are seeds, like acorns or beans. So take a look at that video and see if you can find anything in your kitchen or outside that maybe you can plant. Okay? Um, get creative too. I also have some of these to show you guys. Like, seeds look very different. There's so many different types. These are from my grandma's yard. Um, they're marigolds. So this doesn't look like a seed, but then, I'm gonna make a mess here. You open it up and you see, ooh, I'm gonna have to vacuum. You see all these? These are all seeds, all those. You can plant all those, isn't that awesome? So go walk around outside or check out your kitchen and see what you can find to plant because I want all you guys to bring a plant to our garden when it comes time for our club to open back up. And I'm gonna plant to almost all the stuff I have in here in our garden. And if you guys can contribute anything, that would be awesome and I would be super psyched. So once you have something to plant, then you're going to need um, a container to plant it in. So I have this to use. Um, usually I have like this stuff over here. I have like uh, stuff that this like is biodegradable you put it in the ground and it'll eventually wear through and the roots will go through it but um they don't have they have a hole in the bottom and they don't have like a little con or a little like thing for them to sit on so I have to put them all in this plastic container otherwise you'll get water everywhere so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this old cottage cheese container and we're gonna use the lid for it to sit on so it'll sit just like that and if you want you can decorate it and paint it or put paper around it or something like that to dress it up if you're not a fan of the cottage cheese look. Um, so first thing we're going to need to do now is we're going to poke a hole in the bottom. Grab a scissors or something sharp. Um, be careful. You can always ask an adult for help. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Just going to keep twisting. Oop, there we go. So now I have a hole in the bottom. Oh, now I have a big rip in the bottom. Maybe don't push on it like I just did because you're going to rip the bottom open. But there we go. So now we have a way for the water to get through to filter down. If there's too much water that goes through the dirt, it'll just sit right, right in this bottom little pool part. Okay, so our next step is to add some dirt. I have some in a cup right here. You can get some outside from the ground if you need. If you need some. So we're going to fill up our container almost all the way with this dirt. Okay, and then we'll save a little bit extra to go on top. So I'm going to be planting carrots. So if you are lucky enough to have seeds with you, take a look at the back. because There's all this interesting information on it. The back of the seed packet will tell you everything you need to know about it. So this is our, our carrots. So it tells us how much sun they need, how long it takes to harvest, how deep to plant them, how far apart to plant them from each other. And then it shows a map of the U.S. and it shows you we are right. I need to repaint my nails. Right in there in Wisconsin. So we would be plants anytime between March and June and then harvest in August and September. So it is the end of April so we're going to plant these today and then hopefully we'll transplant them into the garden. Okay so I'm going to open up my seeds. And I'm going to pour a couple out into my hand. I'm going to plant a few in here and then once I see them start sprouting, I'm going to replant them. I just don't have a lot of containers right now. So I'm just going to plant them kind of close and keep an eye on them. But if you have the option to, plant them in different containers. Preferably ones like, like these black ones are really nice for that. 
but otherwise just work with what you got. Okay, so here I have my carrot seeds and I'm going to start planting them. So it says on here we're going to plant them a half inch deep. So I'm just going to poke my finger into the dirt like so and then make a little hole for it. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to throw one in the middle. That's terribly close together. But like I said, I'm going to monitor them very closely and as soon as they start to grow, I'm going to plant them in different containers. That way their roots don't connect. So drop a seed into each of the half inch holes you put in the ground. Here into the dirt. Oops, I'm dropping seeds everywhere. Okay. I'm going to put my leftover seeds back. Okay. Now I'm going to cover up each spot with, um, you can either just use the dirt around it or you can cover it up a little bit with uh, extra dirt if you have any. Good. So you shouldn't see any seeds now. Okay. Now we're going to take a spray bottle or if you don't have one you can use um, a water bottle or just a cup and just pour it on there. But if you have a cup and you're pouring it, don't just dump it on there because it'll wash away the seeds. Be careful. Do it very, very gently. So I'm going to spray the dirt until it's nice and damp so the seeds will start growing, will start germinating. So make sure you watch the other video I have. This thing's not working very well. Make sure you watch the other video I posted about um, how seeds grow into plants because it, I think everyone could learn a little something from that. And then I have another video. There, that's perfect. I have another video um, below this that teaches you how to um, regrow things from the store. And that's actually what a big chunk of my um, garden is here, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second. Okay, so I'm putting my carrots in a nice sunny spot. I'm going to keep an eye on them and I'm going to be watering them. And then here is what I have so far for my tiny in-home garden. Um, I didn't have any markers or like things to mark what each, um, each plant was. So I used colored pencils and tape and that's how I marked it. So I have marigolds here. Those haven't started yet. I have parsley here. I've got one that started. Got some pumpkins. We have some green in this area. The sunflower sprouted up right away. Those seem to grow very quickly. I have regular tomatoes here, and then some Roma tomatoes. Most of those are coming up. And then I have cilantro here. There's some green. And then basil. So those are ones I all started from seed. Um, I think I planted the marigolds in here, which is what those seeds I showed you guys before that you can break apart. These are some chives from um, my parents' yard. These are, I think these are some sort of chive too. These uh, Miss Devon found in our garden and she sent them home with me to watch while club was closed. So I'm keeping an eye on these and then we will replant them back in our garden once we can do that. And then here are some green onions. Some of you have done these with me before. So I've regrown these from the store. Watch that other video if you want to find another way to do it. He chops them from the bottom and replants the bottom in dirt whereas I cut them off halfway and then put them in water to regrow the stems. Either way it works, so check them out. Um, over here, I have some garlic. The, uh, that other video also shows you how to regrow garlic and celery, which is what I have here. I got all these from the grocery store and these are cuttings from parts that I didn't use. And then I have a little fairy garden here that my mom gave me for my birthday, isn't it cute? All right, boys and girls, that is all I have for you this week. I hope you had fun planting something with me. Um, please send me videos or pictures if you guys do plant anything of your own and it starts sprouting or if you have any questions or need any help with how to take care of it, shoot me an email. Um, I miss you all and I will see you next week for another fun activity with Help in Life.